So this simple early game setup requires literally two or three things and it will allow you to storm your way through bosses so easily you'll probably give yourself a face palm. Again, Lord of the Rings bosses hate this setup. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So I have seen countless builds for boss damage and builds focused on driven uh, by the hopeful outcome that they will make this game easier for certain players not used to soul games or souls alike games. And although I do appreciate some of these builds as they are absolutely amazing guys, this simple setup today makes bosses in this game just so so easy. Okay, so I found this out by accident and quickly realized how effective it was. It requires three legit things. And as long as you can keep your distance from bosses, once you get the hang of this, they really don't stand much of a chance. can also be used on mini bosses too that you're struggling with. If there's a certain item, certain ones farm, this can be used for that too. Okay, so this consists of you having the enhanced blood hatchet, a secret ring called the Slinger's Ring, and basically backup ammunition satchels. And today I will guide you how to get all of these things so, so easy. This again is meant for players struggling with bosses and so forth, especially early game. Yes, late game there are things, there are items you can get to buff you as a player uh, to a point of being OP, but again guys, that actually takes more effort than this. This is just too easy. It actually don't make sense how easy this is. So as you can see on screen now, and this is where I realized how effective it was, I came to this boss fight, it's a 2 in 1 boss fight and if you've got here guys, you'll understand this can be a pain in the ass. It was doing my heading. I tried something different and tried this and then realized guys, I obliterated them with my first attempt, not even being perfect with it. I then went to another boss fight and destroyed him without him really hitting me. I then tried on other pain in the ass enemies, guarding certain things and again, it just utterly destroys, but as long as you can keep your distance from them. That's the hardest thing about this. If you can keep your distance from the boss, this will do impossible things. Now also do realize that there's some bosses in this game that this probably won't work on, but everyone I've came across so far, this 100% will work and will make bosses a walk in the park. Okay, so firstly, if this is something that can help you out and you're interested in it, let's get what you need for this setup. Should be 15 minutes in total and you should have all this done. Okay, so firstly, if you haven't, you need to unlock Jalinda as a vendor. Now, this means you have to rescue her from herself. Uh, and to do this guys, you need to come to the vestige of Blind Agatha. This is that old soul legendary vestige where the AFK farm takes place, real early game. From this point, you need to make your way around to the left of this lift to firstly unlock this lift if you haven't already. This takes us to where we need to be. So follow this path I take on screen now. While you are here, you may as well grab that book of sin if that's handy to you, but do what you gotta do as I do on screen and get back to this lift.
Now, once you get to this point, guys, you have to activate three things to unlock the door, which allows you to progress back and unlock that lift. Now, it can be a little sketchy around here, so do be careful. And also grab this book of sin while you are here, guys. Once you have the door open, follow the path I take guys, uh, there might be a few enemies on the way here, you can run past them or take them out, but you eventually get to this lift which will lead you back to the vestige we started at. Okay, so with the lift unlocked for you, you want to use that lift and travel down as I do on screen now. Here guys, if you follow this slight path to the right, you'll end up on top of her cell. To get her out of this cell, you need to take out the enemies below. It's a big dude down here which drops the key, which you need to get her out of this cell. So do what you got to do guys. Once you do take him out, give the key to Jalinda. From this point, make your way back to, well, any vestige point and rest. From here guys, she makes up shop near that sky, rest vestige where Pyatt is and a few other vendors are so if you come back here guys come to her as i do on screen now clear out her dialogue she now becomes a vendor for you this is where you upgrade weapons you can also buy certain things and that's what we want to do you can purchase the satchets we need to refill your throwballs from this vendor so buy them buy as many as you can uh, if you need Viger, I have posted a video, I actually posted one yesterday, testing the Viger farms that still work after the latest patch. There's still some amazing ones in the game, guys. You'll find that video linked down below if you do need that Viger to level up or buy these satchets. Now, in regards to how many of these you need for a boss, for me, one's more than enough. I just bought a lot of them because I had to spare Viger. Okay, so now we have means of buying the satchets. We now need to unlock 
that enhanced blood hatchet. So this hatchet is actually locked behind a boss fight. Now this boss you can cheese so he dies without you having to fight him. So do not worry about this. So let's go get this hatchet people. Okay, so again from the vestige of blind Agatha. Follow this path I take on screen now. Now there will be a few enemies in your way, but for the most part you can just dodge past them if you're quick enough. So here on your left right now guys is that boss fight if you haven't been here already. But you need to clear out this boss to get this hatchet. So this is how you cheese him. Firstly upon you attacking him you will notice he is shielded via the umbral ram. So use your lantern to take out his shield. You will then notice again guys if you try and attack him he's still shielded. This is because in the centre of this room there is that cage. In this cage beholds another umbral shield. This is a shield that's actually guarding and shielding all these enemies. So you want to take this out but be careful the cage is full of enemies. So maybe try kite them away before you do this. But once you take this other shield out, this second shield out, you can now lay down that damage. But hey, to the boss, you don't have to. All you have to do is get him to follow you up these stairs. When you're at the top, simply jump down. The boss will jump down after you. When he jumps down, he loses a massive chunk of his health. Do this five or so times and he dies. Simple, you get his loot. So once the boss is down, follow this path I take at the back of this area and grab this hatchet sitting right here. Okay, so lastly guys, we need the Slinger's Ring. This increases damage with those throwables. Okay, so from the point of grabbing this hatchet, we progress on. Now we will firstly activate a nearby vestige, as it's quite a long trip back if you do die, so it just makes sense, so follow the path I take. But do be careful, take out the edge you think will get in your way. So when you get to this point guys, you need to take that lift up. So take it up and then activate this vestige if you haven't done already. From this vestige, we're gonna make our way back down that lift. Now once you do this, once at the bottom, it's probably best to take out the two dudes with the crossbows as they are an actual pain in the ass. Then guys, from here, you wanna make your way left and up this ladder. At the top of this ladder there are a couple more enemies, you can take them out or run past them, it's up to you. Now 
You will get to this passage here guys running through it towards the exit at the other side. Here be careful as some big hard hitting dudes on the other side of this door. Now here you do want to be quick uh, if you don't plan on fighting these enemies anyway. Run out the door, make your way right and quickly up this ladder. Up here guys is that ring and there you have it. Pair all three of these together guys and you do crazy amounts of damage, easy and this is super effective against bosses, hard hitting enemies, whatever. Now this I do feel may slightly get nerfed, uh, I mean it just it's just making a game easy mode and it shouldn't be the case. Where this game needs to be a challenge, this definitely steps in and takes that challenge away. It's done it for me now a couple of times, so hey, it may work for you too. But yeah guys, I hope this helps you players out who may be struggling. Again, bosses, hard hitting enemies, if there's a certain enemy you're farming, uh, this may help you out. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Lords of the Fallen, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.